Looking for magic cards or magic carps? TCG Player has all the singles you need to upgrade your decks. Import a list with mass entry and let the card optimizer do the rest. Use my affiliate link down below when shopping and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. This video was recorded before the announcement that the Meat Hook Massacre would be banned in standard, so the two copies in the main deck will no longer be illegal starting October 13th. Hello and welcome to another standard game the video. Today we're taking a look at a Grixis mid-range deck featuring four copies of Solconar the Tainted, as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, 5 mana, 5-5, five, five, a legendary elemental demon, saying at the beginning of your end step, so it triggers right away, so you can get immediate value, either draw a card, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life, or Solconar deals three damage to up to one other target creature or planeswalker, can only choose a mode that hasn't been chosen yet, and the final mode, the one we want to avoid at all costs, exile Solkanar and then return it to the battlefield under an opponent's control. So that's a disaster scenario where the opponent starts leveraging a Solkanar, but usually the game is either decided by the time we get to that point, or the opponent will have killed Solkanar, so it doesn't really matter that it would eventually gain control of it. So for the most part, a 5 mana 5-5 five five that draws a card end of turn, and then has additional utility by draining the opponent or maybe taking out a creature or planeswalker, and then we're playing Solkanar in a build that's also playing four copies of Make Disappear, a blue counterspell that adds a whole new layer of interaction to these black midrange decks, can counter target spell unless its controller pays two mana, and if we sacrifice a creature with at least one power, we can copy Make Disappear, so we can counter spell unless the opponent pays four essentially, and that's also a way for us to potentially sacrifice our own Solkanar before the opponent would gain control of it if it does eventually get to that point. And then looking through the rest of our deck, it's your typical Grixis midrange deck with Fable of the Mirror Breaker, the main reason to play red, giving us that shaman token that can make treasure, giving us card selection on chapter 2, and the reflection of Kiki Jiki has a great synergy with some of our other creatures that we can copy, like Blood Tithe Harvester, making blood tokens can also be used as removal, and repeatable removal with a reflection out, and then the Corpse Appraiser can generate a bit of card advantage, also excellent for exiling opposing copies of Tenacious Underdog, and just make it more difficult for the opponent to recur their creatures from the graveyard, and then also nice to potentially copy with a reflection later on. We've got a Reckoner Bankbuster as a way to generate a bit of card advantage. We can keep two mana up to either draw with a Bankbuster in the opponent's turn or cast or counterspell, so it's always nice to be able to use up all our mana, and then eventually the pilot token can also help us crew the 4-4 vehicle to start beating down. And then we also have two copies of Shieldred, which can easily gain some life if we draw additional cards with Bankbuster or maybe our blood tokens while draining the opponent for two whenever they draw a card. And then we've got a whole host of removal spells with that one mana cut down, split with two copies of a Voltage Surge, which can also maybe go after our Planeswalkers, plenty of blood tokens and treasure tokens that we can sacrifice to deal four damage. And then at two mana we've got Infernal Grasp as more instant speed spot removal, Meat Hook Massacre as our sweeper of choice, which can also give us an enchantment to go with our artifacts to enable our one copy of Soul Transfer, which can not only exile a creature or Planeswalker, but if we also control an artifact and enchantment, we can maybe return a creature or or planeswalker card from our graveyard to our hand, and we've got one planeswalker with Liliana of the Veil, can make the opponent sacrifice a creature and slowly make each player discard a card with the plus one until it reaches ultimate. Can also be nice against some more controlling strategies. And then our mana base has the Triland, a Xander's Lounge, which can be cycled in the late game, plenty of dual lands and the new pain lands from Dominaria United, and then some channel lands with Crucible making two one ones. We've got Abandoned Mire, can also get a creature back from the graveyard, and Soaring City to bounce something, and these also get a one mana discount for each legendary creature we control, and we now have two with both Shieldred and Solkanar. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw, and seems fine. Could use an extra land or two, especially a black source. But turn two, we can play a bank buster. And then turn three, either keep up, make disappear if we don't have to use it, can still draw. Opponent on the red black with their own bank buster. Okay. So yeah, having a counter spell in these mid-range matchups is quite helpful as we can counter the heavy hitters like uh, Invoke Despair. Opponent goes on the offensive with Bankbuster, so we might be a bit on the back foot. 
Now we could just soul transfer the harvester. That's pretty drastic. I think I prefer keeping up counterspell for a turn. Maybe we can counter a shielded. And then maybe Massacre can clean up Harvester at some point. Points unlikely to attack with a Bank Buster into three open mana. And it's going to be an Underdog. Alright, so Massacre for two looking better. Let's draw. Now the problem with Massacre for two is that it does go shields down on... Make disappear. But I don't think I want to take six here. So, yeah, let's pull the trigger on Massacre. And then we've got a Corpse Appraiser, which can also exile the Underdog at some point. Five mana, we're in Invoke Despair territory, but they're just blitzing an underdog. Okay. Bangbuster hits us for four down to eleven. Alright, so Corpse Appraiser here seems perfect. And then Keep up our counter spell. Can always draw with Bankbuster. And what do we want? Uh, Liliana, Infernal Grasp, both tempting. I guess we'll go with Infernal Grasp here to have some insta speed removal. Can maybe deal with a Bankbuster. Could have also crewed to attack for four. But this seems okay for now. Keep up our counter spell. Opponent goes digging, discarding a land. Six mana, so now we would have to sacrifice Corpse Appraiser to maybe counter this Fable. Not sure how much we care about Fable. I think we let that resolve. And end of turn we can draw. I think we wait to play Solkanar until we can keep up Make Disappear. So this turn, what are the options? We can play Harvester and pass. That seems reasonable. And then we can still draw with Bank Buster, cast Make Disappear, or potentially Infernal Grasp. Opponent gets to draw with their own bank buster. And Fable gets to loot. There's not too many bad cards the opponents can have here. Maybe they have too many lands and they discarded one of them. Soul transfer back their harvester. And make disappear is not gonna work. Opponent does control both artifact and enchantment. Alright, I guess we can crew Bankbuster here. And if they try and kill it, we can still draw a card at least. So our opponent got a nice 2 for 1. And Infernal Grasp Bankbuster, so we can draw first. Make our pilot. And then it's probably fine to let it go. Keeping this mostly for their uh, Invoke Despair at this point. Can take two, use Sulkan Arc to kill the Shaman. We have a couple options, or we can just trade. And then Sulkan Arc can draw right away. Now that we have a treasure. It's also going to give us an extra mana. Okay, so we'll hit for one.
play Solkanar. And then Corpse Appraiser probably waits to exile another underdog, if that shows up. And for now we draw. Next turn we can deal 3 damage to the Reflection of Kiki Jiki. And a 5-5 five five can block Bangbuster as well. Could even channel Bandit Mire for 3 mana here, now that we control a legendary creature. Another Infernal Grasp. So what's our response? Yeah, we probably let it go. Since Make the Spear is not going to work. And then if they crew Bankbuster, we can kill it. Now our Soul Transfer can also get back Soul Canar since we control Artifact and Enchantment. The only issue with Infernal Grasp is our opponent still casting Invoke Despair afterwards, so it may be worth it to take 4 here, just to play around it. And then Infernal Grasp, end of turn. It's a lot of damage to take, but I think it'll be worth it. Our opponent passes with all their mana up. Now we can kill Bankbuster. Which confirms our opponent's suspicions that we have a Counterspell in hand, but so be it. And then now, Soul Transfer, get back Soul Canar. Seems reasonable. Could also keep this for a Planeswalker if that shows up. So that's the main uh, decision there. Don't think I want to replay Soul Canar just yet, since then we're going to be shields down on Make Disappear. So instead we can play Harvester and pass a turn, and I'm probably playing this out. And can attack for one. Still have plenty of blood tokens, but I don't have any terrible cards in hand really. Maybe Make Disappear is getting to the point where it's no longer useful since our opponent has two treasure tokens as well. Sure. Although I guess... Hmm. Could still maybe counter Invoke Despair next turn. Opponent must be holding some good cards here given that they haven't discarded anything with their own blood token. So it's a tough call. Maybe I should hang on to Make Disappear for one more turn. Okay, and then Corpse Appraiser versus Solkanar. Problem with Solkanar is they could kill it before I get any value. So maybe we do play a Corpse Appraiser here, despite not uh, exiling an underdog with it. And find Shieldreds. That's a good one. And then play Shieldreds and pass a turn. Keep Harvester with our two blood tokens, which can kill maybe an opposing Shieldred after we play Harvester. And then now if they use the blood token, it's going to cost them two life. And we can gain two with our blood tokens, so... Yeah, Shieldred putting in some good work. Could see our opponent attempt a Meat Hook Massacre. Alright, Infernal Grasp. So no way I can counter that. But uh, yeah, opponent packs it in. Just too much value already from Shieldred. We still have a Solkanar. So we slowly manage to outgrind a Red-Black. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Hand seems acceptable. Our lands do come into play tapped here, so we won't be able to play Harvester turn 2 necessarily. Now we can. So we've got a pretty proactive hand with lots of threats, but we can still use Harvester as removal. Question now is do we Corpse Appraise? I think I'm still fine playing another Harvester first. 
and then Corpse Appraiser can maybe deal with an opposing creature that we kill with Harvester. And it's gonna be a missionary, that's fine. So, do I just play Shieldred? Yeah, that seems fine. And then, do I bother killing the missionary with Harvester? I guess I can wait. Opponent does have the instant speed removal for Shieldred, sadly. Take two, in case a more valuable creature shows up. Not quite. Now, do we kill Missionary so we exile it with Corpse Appraiser? That seems reasonable. Solkanar's the pick. And pass it back. Companion's fine. And a wedding announcements. Okay, so Meat Hook Massacre for one or two next turn could be a way to clean up all these small creatures. For now, I think we can wait to cast Massacre, play Solkanar, and draw right away. And then I don't think I attack, since if they remove Solkanar, I want to block her for the 1-1s one to punish an all-out attack to draw with announcement, but we will draw as well. Right of Oblivion, exile Solkanar, so we won't be getting that back. Sure. So at least wedding announcements, not drawing. I think I'm okay looting away a land. Not gonna need it. And I counterspell the draw, make that two. Alright. So now can attack. Play another corpse appraiser, which will have to exile my own harvester. And find another Corpse Appraiser, why not? We'll keep up our Counterspell. And then next turn probably Massacre for two. Opponent is attacking to draw with announcements. I think we block the Companion since we can exile it with Appraiser. And a Massacre for three we will counter. Alright, Bankbuster's not bad, so hit for 6, play Bankbuster and pass. Could even draw main phase, although it probably doesn't change much. Edgar? That one could be annoying. So, yeah, that might be worth countering so it doesn't keep coming back. Since we don't have a soul transfer to exile it. So counter Edgar twice. Take two. And draw end of turn. Okay, that can deal with the token. Don't think we're attacking with the bank buster by crewing. That exposes it to removal. So step one, probably hit for three. And appraiser exiles Edgar. Fine. 
finding either Shieldred or another Bankbuster. Shieldred's also good with Bankbuster to gain some life back. Opponent does have a right as a 4 mana answer to Shieldred. So I think we just want more card advantage. And then I might want to kill the token now so they don't have an easy target for a right. Although, whatever they exile here is probably fine by me actually. Since we can still draw a card on the way out with Bankbuster. Appraiser's already drawn us a card. Okay, so Invoke Despair happens. And, uh, Sacrifice an Appraiser. We're at 10. Suppose we could have gone digging with a Blood Token to find another Counterspell, but... Let's draw now. Okay, Solkanar's nice. Do we want to attack with a Bankbuster? Here's a question. Still have one card we can draw with it. We're not too far from killing them here with a uh, 2 damage from Solkanar. And if they Infernal Grasp, it's also going to cost them 2 life. So that may be worth it. And then I can play another Bankbuster afterwards. Maybe we play Harvester to crew Bankbuster. works. Bone is at 3. So Solkanar can put him to 1 essentially. If I meet Hook Massacre, that doesn't quite do it since we can only Massacre for 3, which also puts the opponent to 1. So Solkanar putting the opponent to 1 is probably our best bet. And then next turn Massacre should be able to close out the game if they don't gain any life. Wandering Emperor can gain two, but it's kind of desperate here. Run away. Be safer. My judgment is final. They might have another one in hand. Never mind, it's gonna be a Sorin. So now they should definitely be dead. For me now. Can just kill the vampire and attack. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play and we've got a very nice hand. I guess our lands do come into play tapped on turn two. So don't quite get to curve out perfectly, but on the play with the fable is still a nice place to be. Opponents on a Naya deck. Could point towards Invoke Justice. Could point towards a Domain deck. Turn to Valiant Veteran, never mind. It's gonna be a Soldier Tribal deck. Okay, so Meathook Massacre is gonna be excellent. King Darien. Pum's Veteran, attacks for three. So now we might want Infernal Grasp, King Darien to clear a path for the Shaman. And then Corpse Appraiser can exile King Darien as well. Kind of like my entire hand. Maybe Bank Buster is too slow in this type of matchup. And I do want to hit my land drops, although we have a Shaman to make treasure as well. Although I'll be using the treasure this turn. So maybe value hitting our land drop for Solkanar more. Okay, so we'll kill Darien. If they sacrifice it, they save me two life, so they probably shouldn't. Attack. And Corpse Appraise. Corpse Appraise are also pretty nice with the reflection of Kiki Jiki if we ever get to that point. And I'll take the land. So now cut down could deal with a veteran, and that's another card we wouldn't mind exiling eventually with a corpse appraiser. Sarah Paragon, 
we can't quite take out with uh, Sulkanar here. So what's the plan? I guess we can attack with uh, Shaman after killing Veteran. Although then they just replay Veteran next turn. But if they block with Paragon, Sulkanar could finish off the Angel. Maybe I don't cut down and just attack, see if they trade. Close call. I'll cut down the Veteran. Attack with probably both. Opponent may be tempted to block Corpse Appraiser to disrupt the Reflection of Kikijiki synergy. But Solkanar can just deal with the Paragon in the first place. And I'm not too worried about getting value with our Reflection. We'll eventually draw another creature. Okay. Possible just attacking with a Shaman also would have worked out. But attacking with both makes it more likely that they actually go for the block. And then we still have some nice leftovers. Solkanar is applying good pressure, so opponents not going to be in a situation where they can easily take five, three turns in a row. And this board is setting up for a nice Meat Hook Massacre. Shieldred as well. So I can copy the Shaman attack with the team. takes it. And then do I feel the need to Meat Hook Massacre? Or just play a Shieldred and then Sulkanar draws. Also triggers Shieldred and then next turn we can probably Massacre for the win. Okay. Bone falls to five. So the savior can maybe exile something. But they still need some other tools here to get past Shieldred and to uh, make sure they don't die on the way back. King Darien and another veteran. So Massacre for three would clean up the entire board. So we're at 8, and then, yeah, if I Meat Hook Massacre for X equals 3, King Darien dies, Veteran dies, and these two should die as well. I can copy the Shaman token, so Meat Hook Massacre drains for one more, I suppose. What if I attack with all first? I'm sure that also would do it here. And then we control Shieldred, so... Yeah, that's going to be brutal. Bunch of Massacre triggers, Shieldred comes back, attack for two, and then end of turn we could have drained for two more. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and seems fine. Can't even keep up cut down turn one. So hoping to kill a creature here that we can exile turn three. Turn two Bankbuster. Put on blue-white. So are we setting ourselves up for a grindy control matchup? Could be. Well, I can play Bankbuster here, which plays around a potential Syncopate still. The only worry is opponents playing a Karn Silex and then blowing up our two Bankbusters before we get to draw any cards off of them. So, close call. Do we play around Counterspell or Sweeper? Given that we have a Bankbuster in play, I think we should just draw with it to also hit our land drops. Since we don't have land for it already. Right, no Silex just yet. So 
So now we can maybe play a Bankbuster. And then we'll be able to draw quite a bit before opponent can blow up a potential Silex. So yeah, good start for a control matchup. Just making sure we hit our land drops and draw tons of cards. But we're also not really applying any pressure. Counterspell's great. So what I could potentially do is remove last counter of Bankbuster, use the pilot to crew the other Bankbuster attack. Although it does play right into a Wandering Emperor. And I don't necessarily want to counter that one. Need to keep this for more impactful spells. So I think we just pass. Ah, opponent's going to draw with Deluge. Can let that resolve for now. Sadly, Corpse Appraiser only exiles creatures. Okay, let's draw. And then now Bangbuster can start attacking as well. So now if they exile with Emperor, I think I'm okay with it. We'll just resolve Solkanar. And if they let it happen, do I still play Solkanar? I think I do, since we still have Make Disappear up or draw with Bankbuster. Just want to start applying more pressure, flush out those counter spells, and then get them to the point where they have to tap out for a big sweeper to stabilize and we can counter it for two mana. Dissipate Exiles, which is uh, yeah definitely an upside here, not being able to get back Solkanar from the graveyard or enable Corpse Appraiser. And an end of turn fateful absence, so they were playing safe. We'll let that happen. Again, not really worth fighting over with Make Disappear, I don't think. I think we prioritize drawing with Bangbuster over sacking the clue token just to get the pilots a turn sooner. Okay. Abandon Mire also a way to potentially get back a creature. I don't think we attack with Bankbuster, so just attack for one. And then I can draw with Bankbuster, draw with Clue Token. So I don't think we do anything else. I guess I'll have to discard to hand size here. So maybe I do want to make a move, try and resolve another Solkanar. And then we'll still have Make Disappear available. Although cut down's probably not going to be amazing. I guess it can kill a token from Wandering Emperor at some point. Right, Syncopate for four. Could counter back, although a card like Farewell could be quite punishing. So I think we let that go. Although once again Solkanar gets exiled. So no getting it back. And we're still waiting for a creature for Corpse Appraiser. Now the question is, do I fight over the opponent flashing back Deluge? Since they get to dig pretty deep for more answers. Still give this a shot and see if they want to pull the trigger now. They don't. Alright, let's get in with the Bank Buster. And see what's up. I don't think I fight over Wandering Emperor. March is fine too. Do I play Corpse Appraiser with no value? I'll have to discard to hand size. Could play a Meat Hook Massacre for zero as well. Maybe that's fine. And then we can draw with a clue token. Cycle Xander's Lounge as well. Uh, Silver Scrutiny for two. That's fine. I wouldn't mind finding more counter spells because right now I'm treating this one as a very precious commodity. So 
Draw with Clue. Cycle Lounge. And Fable's not bad either. Shieldred's good too. Alright, and there's another MIG disappear. So, step one attack. And then maybe try Fable first. That resolves. Question is, do I go for Shieldred? Or do we keep up more interaction? Because if I play Shieldred, the opponent can just untap, play a Sweeper next turn, even depopulate it for mana, which I wouldn't be able to counter with a single Make Disappear. I guess I could double Make Disappear. And then maybe that sets us up for lethal, but I only have uh, three mana left over, so I wouldn't be able to double make disappear. So I think we need to chill for a turn. If they flash back, Delu shall counter it. And then next turn we can go for the throat. And then we're happy discarding a Massacre, probably cut down at this point. Yeah, Voltage Surge probably has more utility as it can actually finish off a Planeswalker. Okay, so we can attack. And then probably time for Shieldreds. Might have wanted to play land first to make a syncopate more awkward, although both channel lands could be valuable. One's gonna scrutiny for three. That's still okay. They had to play that before Shielded Resolved, otherwise they would take a ton of damage. Alright, Shielded Resolved. Abandoned Mire is not looking great without any creatures in the graveyard, so that can probably go. And then we'll pass. Alright, opponent bouncing, shield it, not much we can do about that. Can try again next turn. So yeah, we can still counter a farewell here by sacrificing a pilot, but next turn it could successfully resolve it and exile everything, which is a concern. So need to make sure we have some leftovers to recover from it. All right, get to untap. Now let's attack. Wandering Emperor happens. My people must Exiles or Shaman. That's okay. Could have killed it with my own Voltage Surge just to drain with Massacre, deny the two life. Let's try Shieldred again. And then probably pass with a plan of cycling Xander's Lounge. Soaring City could also be used to maybe save a creature from a sweeper. Right, and they're gonna try and exile Shieldred. Do I fight over this? Or I just bounce with my own Soaring City, which may be better. And pass. Bone makes a token. So no farewell this turn. Token we can kill with Voltage Surge, but can do that in my turn. We'll just cycle. That point's going to scrutiny for three end of turn. That's acceptable. As long as it's no scrutiny for seven or eight, we should be able to handle it. Another MIG disappears. Nice. Okay, so we'll clear the token here. Attack for four. 
play shield roots. Still waiting for a creature to actually exile with our corpse appraiser. Opponent looking at maybe a, a devious cover up since they're hovering over their graveyard. So that will fight over with a make disappear. Although that does put us in a spot where next turn farewell would be problematic. But if they had a farewell, they probably would have tried to play it last turn, is my guess. And they didn't. Although they could have drawn into it with the uh, scrutiny, I suppose. Alright, Fateful Absence we're actually happy about, since now we have something we exile with Appraiser to keep cycling through the deck. Also triggers Massacre. And keep Make Disappear for a more problematic card. March Exiles Reflection, that's fine. I guess we could draw first. Ah, that happens. Bonus down to three cards in hand. We get to attack. Play Appraiser number one. Finding Bankbuster. Now, I may not want to play both Fable and Bankbuster in case of Farewell, which we now won't be able to counter anymore. So, maybe go for Bankbuster, which I can at least draw with right away. And I probably keep Land in Hand now to discard to Fable. And I could see drawing right now as well. Harvester could be a nice leftover. Because I'm not counting on my creature staying in play for long. <laughs> Scrutiny for four. So that's the fourth one. So they don't have any scrutinies left at least. If I cast Make Disappear with Casualty, that does put the opponent in a pretty awkward spot where they would need answers in hand, basically. So I think it's worth trying, or I can let it resolve. But then they might find some cheaper answers to Corpse Appraiser. Nah, you know what, let them draw four. I'm afraid this might be bait and they would uh, just then resolve something scary afterwards. And we have lethal on board, so if we can just fight off whatever answer they play next, we should be fine. Although it is still scary to let them draw here this late in the game. Although half the cards they draw are still lanes on average. And yeah, there's a farewell. And now we can counter it at long last. So hanging on to that final make disappear worked out. And now we can attack for the win. Could have crewed Bankbuster as well. No need. Awesome. Alright, so we defeated Blue-White Control in a very grindy game. So yeah, this Grixis deck seems to have most angles covered. You've got the early removal and interaction to keep up against opposing creature decks, and then can eventually take over with Solkanar, and then in the more mid-range and control matchups, having access to the blue mana for counter spells is quite nice, and then the blue creatures like Solkanar and Corpse Appraiser still generate a nice bit of card advantage, and we luckily avoided giving Solkanar to our opponent, which of course can be one of the drawbacks if the game drags on long enough, but for the most part a 5-5 either requires an immediate answer, otherwise it's just going to kill the opponent in those few turns. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.